Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I am going to teach the wiring of the three-phase monitoring relay. This device is necessary for every three-phase electric motor. Here we have a three-phase miniature switch to turn on and turn off the power. We also have a three-phase monitoring relay that we want to learn how to wire. We also have a contactor that connects and disconnects the electrical current of the electric motor. On the three-phase monitoring relay, there are three numbers of bases to which three-phase power must be connected. In this step, we connect three phases to it. This device protects three-phase electric motors from two-phase and reverse rotation. Three-phase electric motors are very sensitive and this device must be installed in the electrical panel for them. When the three-phase power is connected, the AC light will turn on. Also, the red light will start flashing. During the time when the red light is flashing, it means that the device is timing. And this is the connection delay time. The connection delay time can be adjusted from here. When the device is activated, pin 15 is connected to the pin 18. If not, in this case, pin 15 is connected to the pin 16. Now the red light does not flash, which means the device is active. Therefore, in this case, if we connect a phase to pin 15, pin 18 will also become a phase. We connect one phase to pin 15. and we connect pin 18 to the contactor coil. With this, when the three-phase monitoring relay is activated, it also activates the contactor and allows the flow of current. Contactor is activated. Now, if I disconnected one of these phases, the contactor will not be activated and the electric motor will not turn on because if the electric motor starts working with two phases, it will break down after a while and this device prevents two phases. 
When the P light turns on, it means that the electricity has become two phase and the device cuts off the circuit. But when the F light turns on, it means that the potential difference of the phases is too high or too low and the circuit is cut off so that the electric motor is not damaged. Now I put the phase in its place. Now we move the two phases. You can see that the circuit is broken again when the P light is on. This prevents the reverse rotation of the electric motor. By adjusting this value, we can increase and decrease the sensitivity of the device. Now we move the phases again and the device is connected. Electricity enters from this part and is connected to the electric motor from this part. We cut one of the phases again. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section.